Andy Hudson Knight here. We're going to look at 12 unique AirPods Pro settings. The first unique setting for AirPods Pro is to be able to look at specific battery levels based on what's in the AirPods case. What do I mean by that? Well, if we open up our AirPods case here, my AirPods Pro's case, you'll see that what pops up is a charge of the AirPods together and the case. If I take one of the AirPods out, then we'll see the charge on each of the AirPods uniquely. If I take both AirPods out, what we'll show is just their charge back together. The case disappears. Unique setting number two for the AirPods Pro is to be able to check the charge with just a double tap if you have a wireless charger because AirPods Pro have a wireless charging case. And so you just double tap it just like that and you'll see it the amber light being either orange or green indicating whether they are fully charged or not. Setting number three is turning off or on the optimized charging for your AirPods Pro. To do that just go into the settings like I am here, go into Bluetooth, find your AirPods Pro, tap the blue circle with the eye, and in here you will see optimized battery charging and it is enabled by default. So what this does is it charges your AirPods battery to 80% until they it determines that you're going to use them and then it will charge the rest of the remaining 20%. But it has to learn your, your habits when you're doing this. So if you want it to be fully charged to 100% every time, then just turn this off. But it is a great power saving feature if you keep your AirPods uh, charging for a while you may want to keep this enabled. Setting number four in your AirPods Pro involves the stem settings and you can actually control a couple of things when it comes to these stem features. If you go into settings and then go to accessibility then find your AirPods come down in here and you'll see at the top you'll see the press speed. Now this is the speed that at which you press so if you press once it stops and starts whatever you're playing two presses is it advances one three presses as it goes back one so you can change the the interval the duration of these presses the interval between these presses i should say setting number five is a lot like the stem press that you use to advance music or stop and start what you're playing what it does is you long press it and it changes the the noise function so whether you're going from noise cancellation to turning that off to transparency mode or just turning it off completely this is where you can change the the length of time that you're holding depressing that stem before it changes whether it is shorter or even shortest if you don't want to sit there and wait just a second or so for it to switch over you can change that that duration as well setting number six involves noise control but this one is a great way to to cut down on the amount of time it takes to switch between noise control settings what we want to do is come back into our bluetooth settings finding our airpods pro and then we want to come down to where it says press and hold options let's say we're going to look focus in on the left stem and here you do by default you have all three noise settings on you can turn one of them off and just choose between two of them so if you want to use noise cancellation and off you can toggle just between those two i like to toggle between noise cancellation and transparency mode so that i don't have to go through the the off feature if I'm trying to talk to someone. This just shortens the amount of time it takes to get to the setting that you really like. Setting number seven is noise cancellation, but it's noise cancellation if you only have one AirPod in. If you're doing this to extend the battery life of the AirPod, or maybe you're in a situation where you need to have one of them off of your ear, but you still have some noise to this side of your head where your AirPod is, to help cut down on that background noise. We're gonna come into accessibility settings again, find your AirPods, and then there is this toggle, noise cancellation with one AirPod. Simply turn that on, and then you can have that noise cancellation when you just have one of the AirPods in. Setting number eight is custom transparency mode. A lot of 
people don't know where this setting is or even that it exists. It's a bit buried. If we go back into our accessibility menu, tap AirPods, come down, you'll see audio accessibility settings, tap that. Come in here and tap headphone accommodations. You wanna scroll all the way to the bottom of this page where it says transparency mode. We're going to tap that and you wanna turn it on. And when you turn it on, you get this menu with different meters to adjust amplification, transparency balance, tone, and then at the bottom the the noise controls again that you can control uh, the noise cancellation versus transparency and off. So in the comments below let me know what you think when you adjust these settings in the transparency mode to see whether it makes a difference. Some people have said it doesn't, others have said that you have to uh, forget your device and reconnect it in order for these to take effect. Setting number nine is a great way to share audio with someone else. You can have your AirPods Pro connected to your, your phone and then have another supported Bluetooth headset or earbuds supported device that you can connect and share watching a movie, video. The way you do it is as your music's playing, you can tap the AirPlay button and then just bring the other uh, device nearby and it will find it just like my airpods here there may be a share audio button that you have to tap at first i've already paired these other ones and so then all you have to do is tap the second pair and they will it'll play on both the tenth setting is the ability to do live listen or hearing aid it's like a hearing aid hearing accessibility that you can do and the way that you do this is i have it already in my control center here and you just tap on that ear like that and then I would turn it on and then I could start listening through the microphone on my phone. It's a great way to be able to listen in on somebody in a noisy environment. The 11 setting and this could help you with where you find your AirPods Pro in your Bluetooth device list and that is being able to rename them. If I come here into my Bluetooth list you can see I have a lot of devices on here Here's my AirPods Pro at the bottom, and all you have to do is tap up here on the name. What I want to do, a little trick that you may not know about, is I'm just going to put a dot in front of it, do done. You notice if I come back to my list, it is now up near the top, just below my AirPods, which I also put a dot over on the left of it. Great little hack to get to your device quickly without scrolling down. The twelfth and final unique setting that you can do with your AirPods Pro is the noise control on your watch itself. So if you're listening to music, podcast, whatever it might be, you can tap that AirPlay button at the top of your Apple Watch screen, open it up like I'm showing here, and just tap on one of the noise controls. Easy way of doing that if you have your phone in your pocket or if it's across the room, control it right from your wrist. In the comments below, let me know what setting here has been helpful for you. Maybe you've it's a new one that you've never seen before. Maybe it's something that you didn't quite understand that you now understand how to use or other settings that you find that help you with your AirPods Pro experience. And be sure to give this video a like so that YouTube will help promote this video and subscribe to my channel if you find this material interesting. I'll see you in the next video.